Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. We all want to know what our Creator wants of us. We want to know the message of our Creator. And we want to know the properly preserved, authentic message. And we as Muslims believe that that same Creator revealed the Injil, the Bible, to the Prophet Isa, Jesus, peace be upon him. And the same Creator revealed the Quran to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But which one was preserved? We believe the Injil was corrupted. And this is what we're going to show historically, that we do not have today the Bible that was there in the lifetime of the Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, on this earth. And we will prove historically that we do have the Qur'an, word by word, letter by letter, as it was during the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And look at historic documentation. The original authors of John, Matthew, Mark, and Luke are unknown. These are not the apostles. Google it. Look this up. Even though they're named after them, the authors were 70 to 100 years after Jesus, peace be upon him. And the first Bible that was commissioned as a book was 300 AD by the Emperor Constantine. 300 years after Jesus, peace be upon him. And if we look at the standard Bible the way we see it today, we find differences. The Catholics have 73 books, the Protestants have 66 books, the Mormons have the Book of Mormon. Which one is it? And who chose these books? The Council of Nicaea in 325, they took all the Hebrew writings from Jesus and his followers and they burnt them and they put together a standard Bible. And they said, if anybody is caught with an original writing, they would be put to death. Why were the Romans so afraid of the original teachings of Jesus, peace be upon him? Because they had corrupted it. And that's why we find that a man named King James, who was called the Queen of England due to his homosexual affairs. You can look this up yourself. King James, the one who commissioned the Bible, was a man who had long-term affairs with men and animals and things. And he was called the Queen of England. But he is the one in 1611 that commissioned to put together, as we see, the King James version of the Bible. And the Archbishop of Canterbury in 1885 standardized it in the way that we see today. Now, you have to ask yourself, why the differences? Why do the Catholics have 73 books and the Protestants only 66? What about the Gospel of Barnabas and other books that are lost, that are not considered a part of the Bible today? Where is the original message? Now, let's look at that and compare it to the Qur'an. The Qur'an was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and during his lifetime, it was written down by scribes, and it was memorized by his companions. In fact, historic documentation shows that there was 1,140 of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that memorized the entire Qur'an under the guidance of the Prophet from the beginning to the end. The great scholar Imam al-Suyuti in a book called Itqan, in a book called Itqan, he has even listed many of them from the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him, till his time, those that had memorized the Qur'an every generation, producing hundreds and thousands, and today millions of people who have memorized the entire Qur'an. Not just that, it was written down as well, during the lifetime of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Today, and you can look this up, there is what's called the Birmingham Qur'an. And it is a part of the Qur'an that is in Birmingham, England today. And it was found. And it was carbon dated to being between 568 and 645 uh, during the lifetime of the Prophet, peace be upon him. I mean, they carbon dated this with Surah Kahf and Taha. And they found it to be exactly as we find it in the Qur'an today. I mean, that's something that you should think about. Carbon dating gives you a range. If you look at the middle of the range, it puts you exactly in the later half of the life of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. That means that Qur'an, that paper that has been carbon dated by non-Muslim scientists to show that it was from the lifetime of the Prophet, peace be upon him. If you read from that, and you read from a copy of the Qur'an, you find all over the world today, exact same wording. Not just that. During the first generation, during the companion, those who were, that were with the Prophet, peace be upon him, the companion Uthman, he authorized there to be a collection of the Qur'an and preserved and sent out. We have those today in Uzbekistan, in Tashkent, which is called the Samarqand Kufi Qur'an. And that has been carbon dated to be between 595 and 855, putting in the middle of that during the Khilafah, during the time of Uthman, the Ottoman 
uh, which was the third caliph from the righteous guided caliphs during the companions of the Prophet peace be upon him. The whole Quran, the whole Quran, we have it carbon dated to the first generation of Islam and it's exactly matching every Quran that you find. That's why there's only one Quran. Whether somebody is from the Ahl Sunnah, Rafid or any other sect, you will find only one Quran because this is the preserved message of God. Don't you owe it to yourself to at least read it?